Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Spike Nation. It takes a lot to brew the perfect cup of coffee. Some of the best coffee in the world comes from high quality beans and unique processing methods. Each of these specialty coffees is known for their distinct flavor and aroma as well as their high price tag. These beans are grown on a small scale only in certain regions of the world and then processed using painstaking methods. They are valued for their quality rather than quantity and their ability to give you a caffeine high unlike any other. Don't forget to subscribe to Spike Nation for more entertaining top 10 videos. And while you're at it, hit that bell icon to get notified for further videos. Number 10. Mi Esperanza Coffee Honduras is becoming more and more popular as a country of choice for growing coffee, with Mi Esperanza Coffee being an excellent example of its increasing prominence in the consciousness of coffee lovers found all over the world. Recently, it fetched about $35 per pound at an auction, which speaks volumes about its excellence in the eyes of coffee lovers. Generally speaking, Honduran coffee is prized because it leaks a bitter aftertaste that's so common to other kinds of coffee, while also being imbued with fascinating flavors such as nuts, fruits, and spices for a richer tasting experience. Number 9. Lost Plains Coffee Lost Plains Coffee is grown at a family-owned and coffee-operated plantation based in the mountains of El Salvador. Each pound of the coffee costs $40, but based on its customer base, it seems that there are more than a few people who believe this price to be worth it. It's interesting to note that this award-winning coffee comes in multiple flavors, which means that there's much more to be experienced by interested individuals. Number 8. Fazenda Santa Ines Coffee Like its name suggests, Fazenda Santa Ines Coffee is grown in Brazil. Its main claim to fame is that it tastes sweet with more than a hint of fruit flavor, thus making it something that's unusual but not unpleasant. In part, this is because it's grown with great care and consideration at the foot of Manjiquera Mountains. However, the more than 100 years worth of coffee making tradition also has a role to play. The coffee is known to be very tasty and its ingredients include a number of delicious fruits offering it a sweet and fruity flavor. Number 7. Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee The Jamaican Blue Mountain Coffee is cultivated on the Jamaican Blue Mountains at a height of around 5,000 feet. The heavy amount of rainfall that the area receives provides the coffee with an abundance of water supply. The drink lacks the bitterness of a usual coffee and is mild in taste. It's immensely popular in Japan, which is a major reason for its high price tag. With that said, this coffee has found a receptive customer base in Japan, which is one of the reasons that it manages to command such a high price. The exact reasons are unknown, but it seems probable that this is because of its mild flavor, which is likely to prove popular with people who can't stand some of the stronger taste that can be found when it comes to coffee, which speaks volumes about its excellence in the eyes of coffee lovers. Number 6. Molokai Coffee Hawaii is widely believed to be the best state in the United States when it comes to cultivating coffee. Molokai coffee is one of the best coffees that is grown in this region. The high price tag of this coffee is because of the coffee making skills and the excellent coffee growing conditions that combine to produce the exotic drink. As a result, it should come as no surprise to learn that there's a fair number of fine Hawaiian coffee makers with Molokai coffee being one of the best examples of their craft. In short, it's produced by Coffees of Hawaii in Kuala Pau, Maui County, where a combination of coffee making skill and excellent coffee growing conditions come in a perfect marriage. Number 5. St. Helena Coffee On the 10th of February 1733, coffee seeds were brought to the island of St. Helena by its then owners the East India Company. The green tipped bourbon coffee seeds were brought from the coffee port of Mocha in Yemen on a company ship, the Houghton by Captain Phillips. The name of this coffee is derived from the name of an island, St. Helena, where it's cultivated. It's a former prison island of Napoleon Bonaparte, who was an ardent lover of the coffee and used the island to cultivate them. St. Helena is located in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, around 1,200 miles away from the west coast of Africa. The island of St. Helena is a small mountainous subtropical island of 122 square kilometers situated on the South Atlantic Ocean on latitude 16 degrees south and longitude 5 degrees 45 feet west. The island was discovered by the Portuguese Admiral João de Nova on the 21st of May 1502. He landed where Jamestown stands today and built a chapel there. For over 80 years, the Portuguese kept their discovery a secret and used it to replenish their East India fleet. 
The high price tag that comes with the coffee is primarily because of the transportation cost that's involved in the process. The coffee, however, is of very good quality, offering caramel flavor with a hint of citrus. Its main claim to fame is its former status as the prison island of Napoleon Bonaparte, but it should be noted that its peculiar location has contributed to coffee growing conditions that can be found nowhere else in the world. It's the flavor of St. Helena. Number 4. Kopi Luwak Coffee Kopi Luwak, one of the most exotic coffees in the world, is made in Indonesia by Asian palm civets. The animals are made to eat coffee cherries, which get fermented during digestion. Kopi Luwak is a coffee that consists of partially digested coffee cherries, which were eaten and defecated by the Asian palm civet. It's therefore called civet coffee. The unique taste that the coffee features are because of the enzymes that are secreted by the civet during digestion. The beans are then collected from their feces where they remain deposited. They are further processed into the finished products that can be bought from the market. Generally speaking, they are known for their use in making perfume, but it's interesting that they can also be used to make coffee. In short, the coffee makers feed coffee cherries to the civets before collecting the coffee beans from their feces, which can fetch as much as $160 per pound after they have been processed into the finished product. Number 3. Hacienda La Esmeralda Coffee the Hacienda La Esmeralda coffee is known to be cultivated on the sides of Mount Baru in Panama in the shades of guava trees. Offering great taste and rich flavor, the high price of it is a result of expertise and experience which is required for the entire process. This connoisseur's delight was sold for $350.25 per pound at a recent auction which it manages by producing outstanding coffee harvest after harvest. In part, this is because it combines considerable expertise and experience when it comes to growing coffee on some of the best coffee growing lands in Panama. However, it also helps that they are engaged in a constant process of continuous improvement, thus ensuring that their products can be better and better over time. Number 2. Finca El Injerto Coffee El Injerto has been growing coffee since 1900s and is family owned and operated. It strives to provide the very best coffee Guatemala can offer with multiple varieties of roasted coffee available. When you order your coffee from El Injerto, you're ordering a fresh batch of Guatemala's best coffee. Finca El Injerto coffee is one of the most expensive coffee in the world. It's made from rare, rich, and small beans, which is the main reason for its high price tag. The grains are washed in a single channel and are broken twice, which improves their quality. This is why El Injerto is one of the best places to buy your coffee. You can taste the difference in every cup. Number 1. Black Ivory Coffee The most expensive coffee in the world is made from Arabica beans by the Black Ivory Coffee Company in Thailand. It's prepared by feeding Arabica coffee cherries to elephants. As the cherries pass through the elephants' digestive systems, their stomach acid breaks down the bean proteins and provides them with flavors. The coffee is expensive because only a small amount of coffee cherries survive after the process of the production as most of it is chewed up, fragmented, or are lost after being excreted. A single pound of black ivory coffee can cost anywhere around $500, which can be attributed to the fact that few coffee cherries survive the production process.